Welcome to another episode of The Golden Truth. My name is David Kranzler, and with me today, once again, is my co-producer, John Titus. Hey, Dave. How are you? I'm well, thank you, John. How are you doing? It is sweltering here in North Carolina, but otherwise I'm doing really well. Thanks. It's always sweltering there in the summer. <laughs> and it's only June. Wait till August. <laughs> So today I wanted to discuss this issue of bond fund gates. By now, most of you have probably heard, or at least some of you have, hopefully, that the Federal Reserve has been discussing the option of imposing with withdrawal redemption gates from your corporate bond fund, mutual funds. The Financial Times ran an article about this last week. And before I wanted, before I get into that, I just wanted to mention that one of my first conversations with John when I met him was he made a very brilliant insight in that he said, the aristocrats consider it gauche not to give us a fair warning in advance of doing something bad to us. And this is an example of the aristocratic elitists giving us fair warning that at some point they're going to change the rules of the game and they're going to force you to keep your money in corporate bond funds ahead of some sort of accident that they must see coming in the bond market. Because why else would they want you to force you to keep your money into bond funds? So, in other words, the rules of the game are going to be changed after you, we, collectively, as investors, have already committed trillions to corporate bond funds. Now, what this means is that the Fed must see an accident coming in the bond market because otherwise they wouldn't worry about people having mass redemptions out of their bond funds. And the key that you need to ask yourself is, is if you knew ahead of time before you put money into a corporate bond fund that there was the potential down the road that you might not be able to get it out on your own terms, would you have done this? And the answer would you have put your money into a corporate bond fund if you knew ahead of time that the potential was there for your money to be trapped in there if the bond market started going lower for whatever reason? And presumably the answer to that is no. Now, my guess is, is that for those of you who use financial advisors, almost none of them are aware uh, that this may become a possibility. Most financial advisors just regurgitate what they're told by their parent company. And the impetus for these bond fund gates, withdrawal gates, is coming from Wall Street. I know for a fact that Barbara Novick of BlackRock Investors, she's a vice chairman, is going around advocating this and also discussing the fact that taxpayers should be forced to bail out banks in the event of another derivatives accident. So that tells us a couple things. One, there's an accident coming in the bond market. Two, it's likely going to be triggered by derivatives. So the moral of the story here is, is you should go ahead and heed the aristocrats' warning and get your money out of bond funds before an accident happens and before they force you to keep your money into the bond fund. John, do you have anything? Well, Dave, my fundamental question is, what entity is it that controls whether someone can get out a bond fund. Who has the power or the legal authority to change the rules midstream? Ultimately, the SEC, I believe, would have to sign off on any rule changes. Um, but clearly, the Federal Reserve and the SEC and the White House and Wall Street are all in bed together. I mean, the head of the SEC is a former senior partner at a law firm that was that her whole charge was keeping big Wall Street banks out of trouble. So it's, it's just one big incestuous viper's nest between Washington, D.C. and New York. And if they decide that there's a reason coming to put capital controls onto bond funds, it's going to happen. So at any rate, um, the bottom line here is, is the message is, and it's, you're getting fair warning from the aristocrats, Get your money out of bond funds before it's too late. Move it into physical gold and silver. That's where it's going to be safe. And that, my friends, is the golden truth.